Hey everybody, uh, this is Simon, and uh, he's not feeling very happy right now. I don't know why, but I thought I would uh, go ahead and make this video even though he needs to be petted. Um, I just want to say a few short things about volunteer recognition. I think maybe the most important thing that helped me to think about how to recognize volunteers in a way that's actually meaningful for the volunteers, uh, which is the point, right? is to realize that not everybody appreciates being recognized in the same way and that recognition should have more to do with what um, the particular volunteer you're trying to recognize needs than what you personally would like. I will give you an example of that. I absolutely hate uh, those plaques. There's my other dog, Lucy. I hate those plaques and I hate little tchotchkes that people give you that sit on your desk. I've got too much stuff anyway and they just take up room and I just as soon not have them. So anyway, um, long story short, let's just quickly go over the types of recognition that there are and think about who might like them. So for starters, there are people who are volunteering for not only to do good but for the social personal social benefit they get of being with others doing something good together. The kinds of recognition that those people are going to enjoy are social opportunities for recognition. And by that, I don't necessarily mean public. Um, I mean social, like having a potluck dinner where everybody comes and somewhere during the middle of the dinner, you thank the people that you're trying to thank and mention them by name or whatever, but the real thank you is the fact that you've put this dinner together where people who enjoy being with each other can celebrate their work together. Um, if somebody is a person who is doing the volunteer work because they want to practice skills or um, meet new potential uh, you know, networking uh, folks for their business, and these are legitimate reasons why people volunteer, then giving them the kind of uh, credibility that they can put on their resume or opportunities uh, to um, impress people that they're networking with is probably going to work better for them. And whether that's a plaque or whether it's putting out a press release that thanks people for certain years of service, um, but something much more official, right? That they can that they can point to, um, giving them some kind of an award that they can uh, talk about when they are trying to uh, show people what they've accomplished is a really good way of looking at it. And then finally, um, people who are in it because they like trying new things, being challenged to do something new and better, that kind of thing. They're probably learners and they would probably love to be appreciated by sending them to a seminar or sending them to the annual conference that that your organization, uh, you know, the group, your association that your organization belongs to or whatever, as though they were a regular uh, staff member. Um, that is both complimentary of the, the importance that they are to your organization uh, but also is giving them what they want, opportunity to learn and grow more. So there's probably other reasons why people volunteer and crafting a recognition and a thank you around their reasons is really the best thing to do. And I guess I would say uh, if you're not sure what that way would be for a particular volunteer or group of volunteers, why not ask them? Um, I also want to share a particularly good uh, bit of information. This You can print this down from the internet. Uh, giving from the heart. Uh, like many of my tools, this is, uh, this is a piece that I believe was put out by an organization in Canada. They seem to write a lot in Canada about volunteers, but this is creative ways to recognize and reward valuable volunteers. They have lots of ideas. I will put the, the link below in the comments. And, um, and uh, I strongly advise you to take a look at it uh, and maybe even print it down and keep it for yourselves. 
Anyway, uh, that's it. I am under five minutes. Hooray. See you later.